Hello YouTube! So I was I was just scouring the web when I happened to come upon the the iDisplay. It's an application that's good on the iPhone and the iPad and iPod Touch that will uh, transform your device into a second monitor. So I'm a little interested because I like I like having lots of screen real estate for multitasking. So I found the application on the Apple Store. I bought it. It was five dollars. They say introductory price, so I'm like, oh, why not? I'm gonna buy an iPad anyway. Like, I'm not planning to use it on my iPhone because that's way too small of a screen. But I figure I can have my iPad like just sitting right beside my iMac, and you know, use that as a second monitor, which is pretty cool. But might as well try it with for the iPhone. And you have to download a desktop application from their website. It's for free, so kudos to that. You download the desktop, you download the iPhone application, and you go through the, you know, I agree, license agreement, and where to download. You restart your computer, and you, well, I launched the desktop application. It's the iDisplay application. I launched it, and then I launched the iPhone application. Make sure you are on the same Wi-Fi as each other. And, um... Well, it worked. Uh, I could see the, the desktop, the, the default desktop, that purple uh, space stars and stuff like that on the iPhone. So I'm like, okay, sweet, it works. I decided to, well, take it easy for a while and uh, I used Safari. I brought Safari, you know, I, I made a little window of it. I brought it all the way down and it was slow. Uh, it was disappointingly slow. So I decided, let's try a video. Maybe, maybe a video will work because it would be cool to, you know, stick an iTunes video in there and just, you know, put it down on your monitor, look, look at it once in a while. And the, the video took much too long. It's way too many, too much lag. And I wasn't pleased with it. It also crashed once while I was testing it out. So if you're planning to, to use your iPad or your iPhone as a second monitor, this is this seems like a good solution, but to me it's far too laggy. I would wait for an update. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's my machine. Maybe it's the Wi-Fi. Maybe on the iPad it might be a lot better. So uh, definitely come back and uh, I will talk to you guys about the the iPad version when when it does come out when when I get the iPad. And yeah, it's too slow. But one thing I will for sure use this for is something that is text based that that you want updates on. A good one is uh, for Twitter, so you can launch the you know Tweety app or whatever app application for Twitter that that you use. You can launch that and stick it on the iPhone and just have have the iPhone just sitting on your table or stand it up somewhere, and you have your Twitter you know, your Twitter application. But then again, why not just launch a Twitter application for your iPhone? I don't know. 